This one is for people with wide feet because if you have slightly wide feet or even flat feet, it can be a little bit of a nightmare to find a pair of football boots that actually fit your wide foot well. Especially because the football boot market is changing more often these days than Paul Pogba is changing his haircut. So go figure. But today, my friends, I'm going to list some of the best boots for wide feet that you can buy here at the end of 2020 and the beginning of 2021. <laughs> Now, if you don't know where to start in terms of wide-fitting boots, Mizuno is typically a good place to begin. And my number five is the Mizuno Repula Cup Japan that has been built over the same last, so the same foot shape as the Repula 3 that was very wide and extremely good fitting for most foot types. See, the thing is that Mizuno boots are built to fit Japanese feet extremely well because it's a Japanese company and typically Japanese feet are a little wider and flatter than most other foot types and when you combine this fact with the really deep lacing systems you get a lot of customization options and the softest and loveliest leather forefoots around well the boot is just gonna stretch and shape to the shape of your foot even though you have the most ridiculous boxy and wide foot shape out there in terms of quality, the Mizuno Repli Cup is probably also the best of the boots on the list, but it's also the most expensive. It's 308 euros, so you gotta want that Rolls Royce experience, but if you decide to actually go and splash the cash, it's worth every euro. What's also worth it is to make sure that you've subscribed to the channel and have turned on the notifications. Why, Jay? Well, why not? I mean, we tell you about all the newest and best football boots, we teach you how to improve as a footballer, and then we occasionally hang with some of the top ballers in the game. So join the family and hit that bell button. But back to the list, because one of the biggest surprises for me when I made this top five was that I kind of felt I had to include the Adidas Predator Mutator 20 Plus. And that was a little bit of a surprise because this is a laceless football boot. And how on earth does a laceless boot fit into a best boots for wide feet list? Because I mean, laceless boots are tight because they have to be because of lockdown and tightness and wide feet typically doesn't match that well. But somehow Adidas made it work, especially because of this relatively wide fitting outsole that gives you a good solid base especially under your midfoot that makes it pretty comfortable and also there's a good amount of room inside of the boot again particularly in the midfoot that makes it a bit more forgiving even though you have a pretty chunky foot and the good thing about this laceless boot is that the bigger and heavier and wider your foot is the more you fill out the boot and the more you do that the better the lockdown and the responsiveness is going to feel so if you have a wide foot and you want a laceless boot, this is probably the best option out there. Next up is the Nike Phantom GT Elite, which is just a wide football boot. I mean, there's, there's a lot of boot here. The thing is that the Phantom GT is built on the same last look and the same foot shape as the Nike Phantom Vision 2 and the Phantom Venom and also actually to some extent the first Nike Hyper Venom Phantoms and that means that it has a really wide forefoot with a lot of wiggle room and a decently sculpted midfoot. But the thing is that if you look at this, it's just, I mean there's, there's a lot of material which means that even if you have the flattest of feet, there's gonna be a lot of room inside of the boot to fill out. And once you soften up this fly knit upper, it's gonna mold and stretch to the shape of your foot. Like a sock, because it's that soft. And let me put it this way, I have a pretty narrow foot and the Phantom GT Elite is borderline too wide for me. So uh, there's gonna be a lot of wiggle room even for the most problematic wide feet out there with this one. But number two goes to one of the undisputed kings of wide-fitting football boots, the Puma Future 6.1. Because this is... Guys, this is ridiculously wide, and it's probably the widest-fitting football boot 
I have ever tried in my life. And because you also have the NetFit system, it means that you can make the fit as tight or as loose as you want, depending on your foot shape, and still get enough lockdown as you would need. But if it is so wide, why is it second then? Well, the thing is that the future has a lot of foam on the inside of the boot, which means that there's not as much space inside of it as you would maybe guess from looking at the shape. And combining that foam with the relatively low and pointy toe box, the entire tip of the boot can be a little bit tighter and slightly more claustrophobic if you have a big foot than a book foot, a big foot than some people would like. And since that's not the problem with number one, this is only number two this time. But before I reveal what number one is, I also just want to bring the attention to some of the boots that deserve an honorable mention. And the first one is the Nike Chamber Legend 8 Elite, which missed out on the top five by a few millimeters because it is just a lovely option if you have wide feet or just want brilliant comfort in general. Another thing I want to mention is the Adidas Nemesis Point 1, which might not look like a good option, but it actually stretches pretty well to match the shape of even the widest of feet. And the same thing can actually be said for the Diodora Brazil Elite Tech LPX. Now, some of you might also have a question about what, what about the Tequila 3 from New Balance? And yes, it is a very, very wide fitting football boot, but the problem is that it's an absolute pain to get on, even for me, and I have very narrow feet. So good luck getting into these if you have a foot the same size as a boat. But the best boot for the white foot gang, in my opinion, is the Puma Ultra 1.2. See, this is also a really wide fitting football boot. And although it might not be as wide as the Puma Future, the fact that there's next to no foam on the inside of the Matrix Evo upper on the Ultra means that while the Puma Future might be wider in the shape, the Ultra just feels like it has more room inside of it and is more accommodating, especially because the toe box is just that little bit higher. And that means a lot. Combine that with this super ridiculously soft Matrix Evo upper and a great lockdown, and you're on to a winner. 200 euros, 200 euros. So kudos to Puma for making some of the best fitting boots for wide feet out there. And whether you buy the Puma Ultra 1.1 or the 1.2s here, which has that speed of light graphic engineered into the entire upper, that's the only difference from the two boots. Well, you, my friend, have made an excellent choice for your wide feet. So there you have them, my friends, the best fitting boots for, yeah, that was a little bit ambitious anyway, but the best fitting boots, the best options for wide feet that you can buy at the end of 2020 and the beginning of 2021. And if you have wide feet, you might not be able to enjoy the Nike Mercurials or the Adidas X Ghosted or the Mizuno Morelia Neos for that matter. But thankfully, there are still a couple of very good options out there if you have wide feet. And if you want to buy any of the boots, on the list right here, you can get all of them via the link to unisportstore.com right over there. Of course, also, before you go, don't forget, as I mentioned earlier, to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And then if you want to go and learn how to improve even further as a footballer, all you have to do is click the playlist right down there and keep watching. And with that said, guys, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.